Hello guys and girls. Voices from the dark here. Welcome back to the savior of Skyrim. With me mere many lives, Ilya, the moral companion, Barbus the dog, and the city of Riften. Aye, a place for thieves and crooks and scoundrels this be. And we've traveled far to get here. But getting in's no easy task. Have you decided to pay the visitor's tax? As this guy over here is claiming there's a visitor's tax to Riften. Have you decided to pay <laughs> the visitor's tax? This is obviously a shakedown. All right, keep your voice down. Mm. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. This is a good first look in the city, okay? We come in like a badass, show who we are. The gate's unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. That's what I thought. All right. Riften, here we go. Biggest city we've been to so far. I had another run-in with the Thieves' Guild. Oh. Be careful, Mio. The Thieves' Guild has Maven Blackbriar at her back. One snap of her fingers and you could end up in Riften jail. Or worse. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Eren. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. Who's You're this? You're a stranger here too, huh? Visitors like us are rare in this part of Skyrim. You're not from Riften? I've been adventuring across Tamriel since I was a fresh-faced young woman barely able to swing a blade. My travels have taken me from High Rock to Valenwood, Elsewhere to Morrowind and all points in between. Hello there. Ilya? You're getting replaced. Uh, why are you here then? Many years ago I lost my blade, Grim Sever, within a Dwemer ruin. I took it as a sign that I was wasting my days in search of wealth. You and I are alike. We seek challenge and great fortune. But for me, that's where the similarities end. You see, Riften is my great beast to be slain. And my fortune comes from gratitude and trust. Hmm. So, we can actually embark on an epic quest to retrieve her swords. It doesn't always appear in the list as like an objective, but if we do go to the ruin, we can find the sword. And I believe also if we talk to her and then level up and then come back, she'll start the quest proper. But Grim Sever, Dwemer Ruin, keep it in mind. Can you tell me about Riften's Thieves Guild? To call it a guild is ridiculous. How can people who would betray one another over a gold coin be considered part of an association? They're the worst kind. Even the Dark Brotherhood abides by a strict set of rules and tradition. These thieves are just rabble. What do you think? Um... Mm -hmm. I agree completely. You know, I'm beginning to respect you. Uh, so, so. Other than Eren, you seem to be the only other person I've met I might be able to trust. Oh, Mjol. <laughs> Since we share the same opinion Stop. of them, <laughs> let me warn you that they're recruiting others to join their guild. And you should be cautious. You're saying they want more thieves to steal goods. Oh, it's, that's terrible. So you're Riften's protector. It's been difficult. I've taken the burdens of this city's problems upon myself, and I keep running into impossible obstacles. Corruption, lies, and deceit are the order of the day here. If it wasn't for Eren, the young man who saved my life, I think I'd already have given up long ago. Sounds like I'll fit right in. How did Eren save your life? It was Eren who found me dying outside of a Dwemer ruin. If he hadn't brought me here and nursed me back to health, I would have died. When my strength returned and he told me about the problems plaguing Lifton, I decided fate brought me here for a reason. So I stayed. Hmm. Now tell me about the Blackbriar family. Maven Blackbriar, the matriarch of the family, represents everything that's wrong with this city. She's bribed countless officials, has friends back in the Imperial City, and freely associates with the Thieves' Guild. I've tried everything I can to protect Riften's citizens from her family, but to no avail. Hmm. Who else is in this family? Well, there is Ingwen Blackbriar, Maven's daughter. Strange girl. She likes to spend time down in Elgrim's Elixirs working on her alchemy. Interesting. Then you have Hemming, Maven's son. 
spoiled brat and heir to her empire. He follows her word like a loyal dog follows its master. And finally, Sibi, the worst of all of them. He's in Riften jail for murder. Okay, well, maybe we'll have to check that out. Safe travels. You too, Mjol. I'll be keeping an eye on you as you're keeping an eye on the city. The city of Riften, of course. I don't know you. Uh, you and Riften looking for trouble? Uh, what's it to you? Don't say something you'll regret. Last thing the Blackbriars need is some loudmouth trying to meddle in their affairs. Who are the Blackbriars? Let's pretend I didn't just ask another local about this. She's not technically a local, but... The Blackbriars you know. have rifted in their pocket, and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. <laughs> what is this insinuating? Ah, oh, you're a dirty boy. Well, so am I. Um, hey, you got any dirt on this? Only way you could have found one of those is by stealing it. Guess you'll fit in around here better than I thought. So what do you want to know? So I'm showing him the, the stone of Berencia that I found lying around and that didn't take from anybody who owned it, of course. Tell me what this gem's worth. Do I look like a merchant to you? You're gonna have to take that up with Vex in the Thieves' Guild. Get in good with them and you'll find her. No stone unturned. Best quest in Skyrim. <laughs> Alright, become a full member of the Thieves' Guild. Tell me more about the Blackbriars. Well, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. Uh -huh. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's sure. also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves' Guild. So basically, no one can touch her. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. All right. You know anything about the Thieves' Guild? Like, let's say someone, not me, wanted to join. You know, like a friend of mine. Like, I know someone who might be interested. You kidding? My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Okay, that's a clue. He's seeing you around. Very subtle clue, however, will I piece this together. It is a bit more subtle in Oblivion, with the posters and the beggars and the, oh, the waterfront at midnight. Yes, scary things happen then. I'm getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time. What for now? The usual fee. I know I did, but how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quieter, and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. Wow. Man, are you screwed. Uh, alright. Huh? What do you want? What kind of trouble are you in? I owe a great deal of money to someone, and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. Tell me the details. Maybe I can help. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in Whiterun to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. I'll help you pay off your debts. You will? Oh, thank you. It's what I do. I complete stuff. So you work at the stables? Yes. Hofgreer took me in when I arrived in Riften about a year ago. He's been teaching me everything he knows. Horses are my whole life. Back in Hammerfell, I helped my family raise horses at our farm. I hope to open my own stables one day. But I think it's going to take a lot longer than I expected. I had a good brawl with your boss. Be careful with Sapphire. She mixes with all sorts of nasty people. Okay. It's time to check out the bee and the barb. This is where the people gather. Let's see what's up in Rift. People of Rift, oh. heed my right words. Pull up a seat. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Oh. 
Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids. Bravo. And embrace the teachings I've been of the handmaidens of Kai. <laughs> I did a count. No, no, Maria. And we're four we cases short. Stop talking. All of them. Kirab, I think Certainly I had we something can come to, to some that. sort of an understanding. No, no, I'm not accused. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. The Enough, Dreth family Mama. doesn't see We've all heard of the dragons and their return. For your There's sake, no need I hope to use right. them as an excuse to harass our customers. Maven finds out. Very well, Talon. The Dreth family. I'll remove is going myself from this den of iniquity. We're not kicking you out. Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sin in peace. Bravo, well said. Hey. Are you feeling sick? Maramal is actually someone we've been uh, instructed to talk with from the college, which is fun. You wanted something enchanted at the college? Yes, yes. Let's keep our voices down, all right? Just make sure this gets there. Maramal's copper onyx circlets. All right. I wanted to know more about the Temple of Mara. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. I could have a wedding at the temple. Yes, if you were ready. Of well, course. I mean... Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Uh, no, not really. Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. Oh no. Brynjalf, please, I'm trying to do another quest. I don't want to start the Thieves Guild yet. Oh, an amulet of Mara. Hmm, I'll probably find one lying around. Can you tell me about Mara's beliefs? Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace. Love, compassion, and understanding. Don't do this to me, Brynjolf. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times. But you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. Hmm. Mara protect us both. Never no. done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Hey, I, I'm sorry. What? I was having another conversation and you just I'm rude. saying you've got the coin. But you didn't earn a septum of it, honestly. I can tell. My wealth is none of your business. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. What do you have in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. What do I have to do? Simple. Oh. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Okay. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Why plant the ring on Branche? There's someone that so, wants to see Alan, him put out of business you permanently. Considered my offer. That's Sorry, all you need to know. No in I'll be out in the market all day, from What's 8 in the matter? morning until 8 in the evening. Meet me then, oh, if you've still got the stomach for it. Not. Say that again. So, help so that guard at the north gate was your man. Aye, that he was. And you sniffed him out because he broke one of the cardinal rules of our business. He got greedy. He was told to run the scam on merchants. But he smelled the gold on you, and his judgment went out the window. Actually, I admire how you handled the situation. You kept your cool and you didn't kill him. That's the mark of a professional thief. Why don't they listen to me? Why are we doing this to Branche? We've been contracted to make sure Branche remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now, since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. Alright. Uh, I'll be at the market come morning. You better be there too. I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. Oh, the Maven Blackbriar. What in the name of oblivion do you want? So, Helen, Your name carries weight here in Riften. Of course. Sorry, Nothing gets done without my approval in this city. What's the I have I the Jarl's ear and the guards in my pocket. You, Anyone makes Black trouble for me and I pay a visit to the Thieves again. Guild. So Make me angry and I contact the Dark Brotherhood. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. All right, pleasure to execute. I believe we're no, here's the spoiled brat of a son. The adventuring type, eh? It's just as well. 
I doubt your combat prowess would prove valuable in a real battle anyway. You want to go? I was trained by some of the finest warriors yeah, in Skyrim. I was to wield a blade as if it was an up. extension of my own arm. All right, Ilya, I don't like this place. Who are you? What do you Looking want? For work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. What sort of message? Ah, well, I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse is worth. Alright, sounds easy enough. Good man, you won't regret it. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. Why is Sibby in jail? No idea, but whatever he did it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. Mm. Why don't you go tell Sibby yourself? I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No, I'll meet you outside of town. Alright. I'll meet you outside of town. Sounds simple enough. Hey. I presume you're bothering you. me for a good yeah. reason. What's your problem? I wanted to talk about Shader's debt. I knew that stupid kid would try and find a way to weasel out of his debt. Look, this is really simple. I lent him some gold, he promised to pay me back, and now he says he's broke. End of story. <laughs> Bring you off watching this whole thing. You and I both know this is a setup. I don't care. A deal's a deal. Well, yeah, drop the debt or answer to me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I've got the entire Thieves Guild at my back. What have you got? I I have a dog. It's immortal. I'm just gonna pay it off and get the quest complete. I can I can I can take the I can take the hit. Don't know why you'd help a stranger like that, but a septum's a septum. Don't care where it comes from. You can tell Shadra his debt's been paid. I hope we bump into each other again. Oh, oh, that was sudden. All righty. I already said Shadra doesn't owe me a thing, so get off my back. Let's... Hey. I'm selling the best mead in town for cheap. Interested? You're selling cheap mead? Mm. No, no, friend. You've got it all wrong. I'm not selling cheap mead. I'm selling good mead for cheap. Black Briar mead. I sell cases of it for half of what the inns and taverns pay through the meadery. All I need is someone to deliver it for me. If anyone saw me leave Riften, they get suspicious. What kind of delivery? I need someone to take this small keg of Blackbriar mead to Wilhelm at the Villamer Inn in Iverstead. I know the place. Drop it off and he'll trade you something for the delivery. Keep it as payment for the legwork. Oh, and if you bump into Indarin from the meadery, keep your mouth shut. He'd write us out in a second. Sounds like a good time. Good. Now get going. Okay, so you work for the meadery? Sure. How do you think I get my hands on the good stuff and offer it so cheap? You think old Maven is just giving it away to anyone? Good thing she makes so much money. Makes it easier for merchandise like this to fall through the cracks. Sneaky, sneaky. What are you selling? Nothing but the best. Black briar mead, fresh from the vat. Let me... Best of all, you don't have to pay the ridiculous prices Maven charges. So what do you say to that? I can buy them one by one. Uh, I'm good. Remember, keep this to yourself. For sure. You look like you want to talk to me. My skill in battle is unmatched. Fortunately for you, that skill can be bought. Hello. Why hire a common soldier to protect you when you can have a master of the arcane? You hear that, Ilya? Master Why settle for just of the arcane. You can roast them alive in a gout of arcane fire. I'll be back for you, Mercurio. Ilya has got to prove herself soon, or uh, she's out Sorry, the door. I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. I'm currently in more. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Lord. You've caught me at a bad time. I've lost someone Empire. dear to me. May I ask why you're in mourning? It was my sister, Lilia. She served as a battle maiden with the Stormcloaks. 
We recently heard she'd been killed. I... I find it difficult to talk about. Perhaps you'd be better off speaking to my parents about it. Anyway, I'm glad my work at the Black Briar Meadery keeps me busy. Helps me keep my mind off of things. Tell me about your parents. My father was a Stormcloak soldier in his younger days. Now he just walks the streets spewing his hatred and propaganda. My mother is the priestess of Talos. She tends to the shrine and teaches his ways. I'm just not so sure she's delivering the right message. Are you at odds with them? Don't mistake my political beliefs as a substitute for my family values. They're still my parents, and I love them dearly. I just think they've let my sister's death skew their outlook on Ulfric and what he really brings to the table with this war. I'm not so certain that Ulfric's intentions are as noble as they think. I think Ulfric cares about Ulfric, and the rest is a smokescreen. I appreciate if you kept my opinion between us. The last thing I want to do is have my parents lose another child. Hmm. So, you work at the meadery. Everybody does. Yes, actually. I'm partnered with Maven Blackbriar. I put up a chunk of the gold she needed to get the place off the ground. That, We've been guy's... staggeringly successful so far. In fact, I'm almost surprised how quickly she's generated business for us. My it, name may not oh be no. on the label, oh no. but some of my blood, sweat, and tears are in every drop. Uh, figuratively, of course. Yeah, I hope. I wasn't really paying attention there. I was being stared at by a lizard it's man. To you. It's a little... If your allegiance lies with the Empire. We haven't much to discuss. Ah, uh, this must be the famous yes. father. Hmm. You're not from around here. Imperial spy, perhaps? While the hatred for the Empire. They mean to take our history and crush it all in the name of some damn treaty. The soil beneath our feet is steeped in the blood of our ancestors. We've fought for this land. And died for it. I lost my own daughter to the Imperial Dogs. And by Talos, I'll not lose anyone else. What happened to your daughter? Lilia joined the Stormcloaks many years ago. When the first of the skirmishes broke out across Skyrim. I was so proud of her. She served as a battle maiden. Using her healing arts to help those that fell on the battlefield. Never even lifted a blade in her life. It didn't matter. The Imperial soldiers cut her down. Killed her like a dog. And left her body to rot in the mud. And that's why I won't rest easy. Until every single Imperial soldier joins her. And Ulfric sits upon the throne of Skyrim. No, Barbus. This is an extremist. We don't agree with him. Farewell, I think Barbus is a Stormcloak. This is gonna be problematic. Hey, you. Is there something I can do for you? Saw you mean mugging me. Uh, so you know the innkeeper. I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. Oh. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. Oh. Uh. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band. But all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. I think I have some on me. I could find those for you. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Hey, no problem. Uh... Ooh, uh, you mentioned you served special drinks? Three, in fact. They're my own recipe. Brought them over here from my days as a bartender in Gideon. First is the Velvet Lechance, which is a mixture of blackberry, honey, spiced wine, and a touch of nightshade. Perfectly safe, I assure you. Second, we have the White Gold Tower, which is heavy cream with a layer of blended mead, lavender, and dragon's tongue on top. Last, and only for the bravest of souls, we have the Cliff Racer, which is firebrand wine, cyrodelic brandy, flynn, and Sujama. What's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? These are fairly unique. Buy myself a cliff racer. Fly so high. Fly. 
And then we're gonna do Velvet La Chance and a White Gold Tower. <laughs> Didn't know the White Gold Tower was this cheap. So, we're gonna do your whole wedding ring shebang. Can you tell me about the Thieves Guilds? I see you're shocked that I actually bought your drinks, but... They're vermin. Garbage. Oh. They're exactly what makes this city such a horrible place to live. How appropriate they should live in the rat way with the rest of the trash. What's the rat way? Disgusting. Ruined sewers filled with goodness knows what. There's an entrance down by the canal, but I'd highly advise you to stay out of there. It's the Thieves Guild's territory. All right, all right, all right. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. So I believe we had two out of his three flawless amethysts, so just one more. They're not super rare, so we should be able to find one. Sorry, but let's have a talk with the bride-to-be. Right. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. What's the word around town? Crime is an all-time high in this city thanks to the Thieves' Guild. Don't we have enough problems with the war going on? Yeah, I'd hate to add to that problem. What's the word around town? The city guard has been tearing Riften apart looking for the source of our skooma problem. I'd hate to be in their shoes if they get discovered. We actually know about the source. We have to report to the Jarl because we know something's going on in the Riften warehouse. So that's coming up. What's the word around town? Riften's biggest exports used to be fishing and honey until the Blackbriar family moved in. Now the meadery is the biggest game in town. Everybody works there, apparently. What's the word around town? Mjol the lion is used to adventure across Skyrim before she settled down in Riften. I hear it all ended when she lost her enchanted blade. Ah. Uh, what's the word around town? The Thieves' Guild has been pushing hard to regain a foothold in this city. Rumor has it they're falling apart from the inside. Oh. But what's the word around town? If Maven Blackbriar keeps raising prices on meat, I'll have to resort to watering it down just to make ends meet. But what's really the word around town? Sibby Blackbriar is furious that his ex-lover tried to murder him. He's leaving no stone unturned searching for her. Okay, very good. Now I know what the word around town is. It is a good setup. Right now it is, it's 1 a.m.? Okay, well that that kind of throws a. We can't really we can't scan there in the middle of the night. All right, Kurava, give me a room. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room right this way. Come back and see us again. Plate wooden, right behind the counter. Sneaky lady. All righty, we're gonna spend the night here, and uh, when the morning comes, we have plenty of people. Plenty of shops, plenty of things in general to check out. There's a lot of content here. And Thieves Guild being one of the more exciting ones, because I've taken quite a liking to acquiring things without asking. You do not leave this room. Or I guess you do. Alright. Just get out. Let me sleep until morning. Bright and early, 6.30 a.m. That's when I like to rise. Ilya was watching me sleep. That's okay. Mara smiles upon you. Talon J, I've checked with Maramal and I'm certain an arrangement can be made to incorporate the traditional Argonian bonding ceremonies, should the need arise. It would be our pleasure to receive you at the temple and to have Maramal perform a marriage ceremony between yourself and Kirava, but we'd request the appropriate tithe be made as we previously discussed. Whatever you decide, I wish you both the best of luck and hope to see her soon. Dinya Balu. Oh, you, you romantic devil, you. I'll take that. Very good. What else you got in the dresser? Very boring things. It's cool though. We'll help him out. We'll get some amethyst. He's gonna have a ball of ring and everything's gonna be good, okay? The good thing about being in a city with problems, okay, is that there's lots of problems we can solve. And that's that's kind of Mimir's reason for being here, for existing. Uh, somebody here? Oh, Ilya. <laughs> Ilya standing outside pretending like I'm not in here committing crime. <laughs> I'm sure he's doing nothing illegal. 
265 gold. Oh. Oh, woof. Barba said woof, and that scared me, even though he didn't actually say woof, but the subtitle said woof. Nice! That was basically what I gave to Sapphire. Maybe that was Sapphire's room. All right, it's a bright and early morning. We're up. Look, I already said uh, Shadra doesn't owe me a thing, so get off my back. Yeah, yeah, we good. Why are you giving me that anime look? Like, what? I don't like- I don't like any of you guys. I'm gonna go to the market, okay? I have things to do today. So much to do, in fact. Alright, let's start with the beggars. Sure, sure. I'm a dirty beggar. Why would you want to even speak to me? Completion. To oblivion with all of you! Uh, you rich piles of dung walking by us like we're not there, pretending we don't exist. How dare you! Here, have a gold piece. Out of the kindness of my heart. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Ah, All right, then. How benevolent. The gift of charity. Whoa. Genuine Sparkles. Blood elixir for sale. Live but All right, bring me off trying to run a scam. We better talk to some of these shopkeepers before we start any uh, thieves guild shenanigans. you wish to sell? I pay fair prices for all sorts of goods. Branch Hay. You have an odd name for a dark elf. I may be dark elf by birth, but I was raised Argonian. For reasons I'm still trying to discover, I ended up orphaned and taken in by a kindly Argonian family in Black Marsh. I hope one day to find out what happened to me, how I ended up like that. Do you have any clues about your past? Just one. I know when I was found by my Argonian father, I was wrapped in a blanket bearing the symbol of House Telvani. It was one of the great houses in Morrowind long ago. Whether that means I was one of them or not, I'm uncertain. If you come across anything in your travels that might provide me with the answers I'm looking for, I'd be grateful. I'll keep an eye open. Thank you. Why were you searching in Skyrim? I learned that a matron who had served for House Telvani had escaped Morrowind during the Accession War. Records showed her buying passage aboard a sailing vessel named the Pride of Telvos. But that's where the trail ran cold. I spent years looking for what became of the ship, but I ended up empty-handed. So, what do you have for sale? Everything I've got on display, really. I am curious what's in his stock. Um, this is a wide variety of uh, goods, as one might say. I don't really know if there is much that I'm interested in selling to you. Maybe some black mage robes. They're probably good to sell, but also kind of just like keeping things. That's not news to you at this point, though. No, I think we're... I think we're fairly good. Thank you. Anything you can find would be of great help. Good luck. All right, Branche. All meets guaranteed. Hey! You should probably be in bed. You're looking a bit under the weather. Good point. I'm gonna go to the Temple of Mara. I'm sick. Oh, oh, I got a bone break fever. And I Blessings wanna cure it. Blessings of Mara to you too. Bless us both. Good morning. Ah. Uh, Mara. Your bountiful bosom. Yes? Uh, uh, hey, what's, what's up? Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. Is it customary to just walk off mid-conversation? Which of the eight divines do you serve? Oh, let me guess. Mara. We are devoted to the goddess Mara, who Got gave mortals the gift of love, that they might have a hint of eternity. Mm. Her blessings are many. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. We're standing like an album cover, just both looking off in different directions, but we're still having a conversation. May I receive her blessings? Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. Oh. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. And what now? Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? Just tell me what to do. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl. 
her fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead. The woman, Fastred. Ooh. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. The Book of Love. Honestly, they should have just left it at, at the foot of the throat and the young woman. Like, that would have been plenty of clues to find her. She didn't have to spell it out, but we are playing Skyrim. It just struck me as, oh, that would have been cooler if they didn't say that. There was somebody else here. I saw someone. Hold on. Mara is a kind lady and Argonian ceremony. Are they talking about the... Dinya. I was wondering if you could speak to Marimal about perhaps presiding over a marriage ceremony for myself and Kirava. She's the love of my life and I wish to be with her forever, but only if we can be wed in traditional Argonian fashion. Traditional Argonian bonding ceremonies are somewhat long and complex, involving unique rituals spoken in our native language. I'd be more than happy to provide a book describing what I'm looking for as long as Marimal doesn't mind. Talon J. Aw, that's cute. A kiss, sweet mother. That's... Sure. Pull wooden. That's pretty dope. Barbus, you're lying in the doorway again. Why do you have to do this to me? As much as I love having an invincible companion... <laughs> he is legitimately annoying me at times. He's always in the way. He's constantly... Barking when I'm trying to have a serious conversation with people like if if I get married He's gonna be there just barking away like it's nobody's business All right, I'm just gonna pick up all the songs of Pelinol. I know I have some of them, but this is a complete set and you You don't pass that up. Okay, it's gonna look great But on my shelf Now then there was another man here. I won't rest until I find him who do I have to beat up to get some information here. Oh, very good. Those are some big potatoes. I can approve. What's in here? Ah, Mara protect us both from my crimes. Very good. A couple of potions. There's a little cooking pot in here. It's a fire hazard, but that didn't really matter back in the day. What else do we have in the basement? There the hmm? Briel guy is. Yes. Uh, which of the eight divines do you serve? Uh, let me guess. Um, Mara? This temple is dedicated to Mara. and the light of love, she shines on us all. Got him again. I'm only a humble acolyte, though. If you wish to avail yourself of Mara's blessing, you should speak with Denya Balu or Mara Mal. Mm. Good day. Uh, good day. Now, sometimes talking to people is rather fruitless, but other times... There's a quest. Come and to laugh at the grave tender. Oh, hello. I can see that disapproving look in your eye. You tend the graveyard. If you're trying to ask if I tend the hall of the dead alone, then the answer is yes. You think anyone around here is going to lift a shovel to help me? Guess again. Leave the dirty work to old Alessandra. Look, I didn't ask for this job. I got stuck with it thanks to my father. How can you make peace with your father? I'd like to make the journey to the Hall of the Dead in Windhelm and give my ceremonial dagger to Anders, the caretaker. Okay. I believe once it's interred with my father's remains, I'll be at peace with his memory. I could bring it for you. I hadn't asked you because I was afraid you'd say no. I appreciate your help. Here, I'm entrusting you with the dagger. Bring it to Anders, and he'll take care of the rest. Anders in Whiterun. All right, Alessandra Stagger. How's your father to blame for your job? My father was a priest of Arche. All my life was spent around the dead, being forced to learn the proper burial rituals and prayers. I never had any friends. Who'd want to spend time with the weird little girl who hangs around dead people? Sounds like a good book. So I grew Honestly. up in a miserable trade. This is all I know how to do. Prepare and inter the deceased. What's special about this dagger? A priest of Arche is entrusted with a ceremonial dagger once they've completed their training. 
It's usually given by the head priest who sanctified the ritual. In my case, the head priest happened to be my father. The thing is, I never wanted to follow in his footsteps. Hmm. In some ways, I still don't. But you ended up doing it anyway. I had to, for honor's sake. But I had waited too long. My father died before he could see my training to completion. When I finally became a priest, they gave me the new high priest's dagger. But I already owned my father's. So you see, I have to return it. It breaks tradition, and I need to tell him that I finally did what he wanted. Be cautious. The pilgrimage to the shrine is not an easy one. Pilgrimage to... Alright. Anyways. Just... I'm just gonna... Yeah, yeah, there we go. Slice a little there. And, uh... Alright, she's... She, oh! Oh! That was a loud clang. I'm, I'm gonna Anything go now. Before you make the journey? No, I made a fool of myself enough for one day. Whew. With that, we are back out. It's the middle of the day. It's a good time to start up our little scheme, I think. New in town, ah. eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. Maybe. There's nothing like fishing on Lake Onre. You should try it sometime. You a fisherman? Only the best in all of Riften. I own Riften Fishery. Started out with a single fishing pole and now I have an entire building and two boats to my name. Not bad for a middle-aged Nord, eh? Too bad I haven't had the same success helping this city shed its poverty. And even Nord thinks I'm wasting my time trying. But I disagree. Did Brynjolf just say make love like a saber cat? Yeah, let's focus on Bolly here. So this has to be the boss of the girl we helped out of the skooma problem in the other one. Uh, who buys all your fish? I sell my catch across a good portion of Skyrim. It's worth its weight in gold to me. Mm. The only untapped market left is Markarth. However, I just got word that Klepper at the Silver Blood Inn might be interested. Oh. If you're headed that way, I would appreciate you delivering a purchase agreement for me. You'd be paid, of course. I'll do it. Good. Klepper will pay you as soon as you arrive with the letter. Here you are. Looking to stay nice. A little purchase agreement. You sound quite charitable. Yes, I suppose someone has to be around here. Have you seen the condition of this sorry excuse for a city? Beggars roam the streets, crime runs rampant, and the threat of wars driving away business. The paltry amount of coin that I place in the charity box at the temple is the least I can do to help. Oh, uh, yes. You mentioned Nivenor. Nivenor is my wife. How I was ever able to meet such a gorgeous creature is one of life's mysteries. We're at odds about my charity. She thinks the people in this town have become lazy and expecting a handout. I tried to include her in my lessons from Mara Mall over at the Temple of Mara, but she prefers to shop instead. Different strokes, eh? She sounds like a character. Remember to give at the temple. Always. Oh, oh if you're speaking looking for of a handout, you'll want to speak with my husband. If you're looking for company, I suppose I could do worse. She is Really attractive. Like, look at Brynjolf. Now look at Nivenor. Look at Brynjolf. Bully's around somewhere. Look at Nivenor. to feed the poor with his nonsense about Mara. Hey. With my husband. Okay, okay I can't. Religion. Can't talk to him. All right, Brynjolf. It's 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 go time, baby. Let's get this started. Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Okay. Everyone. Everyone, gather up. All right, the plan's in action, everybody. Okay, we got to steal Modesti's ring. Mr. Argonian man. All right, he's going. Everybody's moving around. It's the perfect crime. They won't know what... It's, it's the perfect crime. They're just going to find a bunch of little broken lockpicks near her. No biggie, okay? I'm just going to sneak into the strong box. Just a tiny little peek. Ooh. Ooh, we might actually find the flawless amethyst. What's in the satchel? Odessa's display case key. That's nice. Alright, what is in the... Okay. What is it this time? What is in the... We'll take that some other time, right now? Alright. Bronze, bronze over here. 
about the wisp essence, and it turned out to be crushed nerve. Here I am. About well, to grab your understand. booty. And very gently place away. That could end poorly. But this item? <sighs> you know what? Mistfire, if well, you're out there. I don't know if you care. But if you do, let me place this ring upon his bosom. Bosom? Oh, that's not what I meant to say, but that's I'm sticking with it. No editing that. What a waste of time. All right. I knew I shouldn't have waited. Got him. All right then. Looking to stay alive? At this Why rate, take a chance? He'll give the entire Rift and Fishery away to charity. Then how will I live? I know Nivenor. The poor are terrible. Grelka. You gonna buy something, or just here for training? Otherwise, move on. You treat all your customers like this? Look. I've moved all over Skyrim selling these bits of junk, and I'm barely scraping by. It's not my problem. I'm not out to win friends, and I could care less if you're happy about your purchase or not. I just need the coin. The sooner I get out of Skyrim, the better. Uh, why would you want to leave Skyrim? Are you serious? The war is tearing the land apart. The dragons have returned seeking who knows what. Skyrim is going nowhere, fast. If I were you, I'd pack up and get out of here before you end up in one of those burial cairns. All right, that's fair. What do you got for sale? See for yourself. You're not seeing much, though, I guess. Uh, child stalls, just, just lo loads of junk here. Again, not sure I'm going to be selling much to you. I kind of like to keep stuff. That's sort of my thing. What do you think about the thieves' guild, those scoundrels? They stop at nothing to take your last bit of food if that's all you had. The Ratway's too good a place for that scum. All right, all right, we know about the Ratway. Oh, like I chose the right person for the job. Yeah, and here you go, your payment, just as oh, I promised. Nivenor, this is not what it looks like. Have been going around here. It's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. What's been going on? Yeah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck, but I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. Why are we discussing this in front of... <laughs> hmm, interesting. I wonder how much the gods will pay me for this information. I can handle it. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. Do you have to stare? The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riftum. A tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. Hey. Chance arrangements. Hey, Modesti. You doing all right? Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? Hmm. Do you make your own jewelry? I do. Sadly, I'm one of the few traditional Saxleal jewelers that remains in Tamriel. It's becoming a lost art. Only trouble is gathering materials has become hazardous. I know where this is going. The roads to the mines and to the other cities are thick with bandits and worse. Would you be interested in oh. gathering some materials for me? Uh, I'd certainly be happy to compensate you. There's drama over there. I think Branche is being arrested. Oh, uh, sure, I'll get him for you. Thank you, Land Strider. I'm seeking a small list of items to complete my next creation. Two flawless sapphires, a mammoth tusk, and a chunk of gold ore. Sounds like something I'd have in my pocket. Uh, anyways, what? Safe travels, Landstrider. Oh, no, you committed a crime, Branchiel. You in town, eh? How? Here for the fish yeah, you go to jail, you dirty, dirty criminal. Tch. Nerve on some folk. Please. Hey! Please, I need but a septum. A septum is all I ask. Is that so bad? All right. I can't take this place anymore. Oh. The trees, all the colors, but... The city so dark. Why? It makes no sense. I have a gold piece to chew on. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Until uh, next yes. Here. If you're looking for a uh, handout, you do have some good jewelry. I'll be back after dark. If anything pleases the eye, don't hesitate to make me an offer. All right. So we have some stuff to collect for our good friend Medesi over there. We will make sure that we do that. We've stopped by the temple itself. Now, we do have the Jarl's Quarters, where we could pick up a little mission. And I think just so we can end it on a little bit of action, that's exactly what we're going to do. 
I'm gonna seek out the Jarl. Have our scouts come up with any information on these reports of dragons? Yes, my lady. That unpleasantness at Helgen supposedly involved. No, come to gloat, have we? No, it did not even acknowledge your existence. I want you to speak to the city guard. Make sure there's a contingency plan in effect in case Riften falls under attack. Yes, my lady. I've also taken the liberty in preparing a private carriage, just in case. Good. If Riften should fall, it's only right that its leader be spared. Wow. Welcome to Miss Vale Keep. I'm Jarl Lance. All right, Welcome hey. to Riften, traveler. I hope the road fared well for you. I've discovered a skooma dealer in town. Yes, I'm afraid we're aware of Sarthus's presence in the warehouse. Unfortunately, we're certain he has informants within the city guard. Every time we've made a move to arrest him, he's escaped. Mm. However, if you take care of this discreetly, you might be able to surprise him without Shh, warning. Purpose. Sure, I'll do it. Excellent. Here, this is the key to the warehouse. See if you can drop in on this dealer of poison and convince him to close down his operation permanently. Enter Riften Warehouse. I know you. Alright, let's conclude this business right here, okay? Skooma problems? That's not good. Maybe if we take over the skooma trades, things might be better. Because the profits would be coming to our pockets. Working at the Riften Fishery is Sure is hard working at the Riften Fishery. We good? There we go. If you're looking to settle in Riften, there's a house for sale. Oh. See the steward in the keep if you want to. Good reminder. Hey, Maul. You want to talk? Finish those jobs for Brynjolf first. All right. Good talk, guy. Good talk. Riften Warehouse. Are you with me, Elia? All right. Let's go get him. It's time to have a little chat. Never should have. Ah! Okay, we're. This is really how we're gonna talk then. Get out. Oh boy. Oh. I thought I had a level. I don't have a level. I don't have a level. Oh. <clears throat> we're good. We're good. We're probably about to get a level once we kick the butt of this. Good job, everybody. Didn't even break a sweat. Some gold, his key. Just. Lots of goods, really. Ilya. I'm right behind you. All right. What is it? What do you need? Please undress this man. Can't do that. Sorry. It's not even theft. Yeah, I just you just need to take Can't off do his. That. Sorry. <sighs> Still here. What do you want me to carry? I want you to carry shame. I want you to feel shame. Let's get going then. Let's get going then. Okay. Gold. Very good. All right, everything in here is steel, steel, steel. That's okay. There was a mage at the inn we could hire. Right, Orinidral, you did not have a good time. Aha, the stash, moon sugar and skooma. I think we've I think we've tasted some moon sugar before, right? Yeah, we've um we've been down that road. Some more skooma, Sarthus's satchel, gold lockpick, and a note saying shipment ready. Well, what could it be? Sarthus, just got in the shipment of moon sugar from Morrowind. We're refining it now, and the skooma should be ready by the time you get to Crags Lane Cavern. Bring the gold or don't show up at all. Kilnir. Oh, dude, anybody named Kilnir is bad news. All right. Now I can report to the Jarl and start making a name for ourselves in the city, which is probably going to help if we want to become Thane and get the stuff that comes along with that. What's in the barrel? Not much. Bull wooden. That's pretty amazing. Elias probably up above. There you are. Goody two shoes over here. Did not want to bother coming down into the basement and do illicit activities. But here we are. I don't know how much longer our roads are going to be crossing. Because we are heading into.
the rat ways of the city. And I just don't know if it's the place for you. Like, I want this to work, okay? But it's not me. It's you. Ilya. This might be our last episode together. <laughs> and we've only really barely met. And I thought we had something, but... <sighs> it's slipping away. But, guys and girls, what's not slipping away is my appreciation of you. And the fact that you tune in every Saturday in order to view these. That means a lot. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the introductory tour of Riften. I know there's a lot of talking to people, but that's how it is entering these huge cities. In the next one, now that we are getting more intimate with the thief skill, we're gonna go into the Ratway and see if we can't become proper thief. And what I'm looking forward to, getting a new set of armor. Just a new look, a new vibe. So, until that day comes, have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, Stay dark. Goodbye.